I think the XPRIZE challenge has been a tremendous benefit to our vehicle development process. I would normally make it a different way, but for the purpose of meeting the true goal of this, which is to launch fuel-efficient vehicles that people can drive around the United States and the world, uh, those requirements really set the standard. It's um, really made us pay a lot more attention to economy and performance at the same time in the same vehicle, which in turn is going to make our cars safer, you know, and a better car in the end. The XPRIZE has influenced the development of the vehicle, certainly. It is absolutely the reason for the existence of the vehicle. It is absolutely the reason that we are as far as we are in the vehicle. The XPRIZE applied pressure, right? So. Uh, my grandfather used to say, uh, pressure bursts pipes, but pressure can also make diamonds. The competition is forcing us to compress uh, and forcing us to be more creative and innovative in the way that we think. And in doing so, we found innovation that I think is going to carry through to the rest of our enterprise. It's been a, giving us a good goal, good target, because if you aren't really targeting a competition, you might be just too lazy to improve this or that thing. But now, because it's, it's about winning competition, you, you really try to do all you can. You can go out and you can practice tennis by hitting a tennis ball against your garage door. You get a little bit better, but when you get into a competition, you put another guy on the other side of the net and you start playing, you really develop quickly. We'll measure ourselves against uh, peers and we'll be measured independently by third party and we'll get third party validation on all of our accomplishments. We couldn't ask for a better way to accelerate the vehicle de development on the Aptera than to put it in this competition because we work like crazy guys on this car. It's definitely made us stretch our time. It's, it's as much as a human endurance project as it has been a technology endurance project. You know, it remains to be seen if we're going to actually show up at the finish line, but uh, I, I mean, uh, it's not going to be for lack of opportunity. You know, that, that's for sure. So the XPRIZE really creates this environment in which opportunity just happens. And then it's for us to recognize and run with. I think it's really nice to know that there's other people that have the same philosophy that you do and are trying to achieve the same things that, that you're doing. I think it's made us maybe more rededicated into what our mission is. We don't have to be completely tunnel vision. We're not the only ones in the world trying to accomplish this. And that, uh, you know, trying to move us off of oil is going to take more than any one team, you know, it's going to take a, a lot. So it's, it's helped us see a bigger picture, I think. Here we have you know, 15 different vehicles in the finals that are all pretty close to 100 miles per gallon or better. And they're from all over. So that shows me that, you know, the, these technologies are important. So now let's get them into the marketplace. I really think it, it, it's a good thing and, uh, and I really think Progressive Insurance, by believing in this project, made a good choice. One day maybe Progressive um, Insurance can say, listen, we bet in this project, we put money in this project, he won the prize and now he set the standard. This is something which is invaluable, definitely it values much more than the $10 million prize. So I think it will set uh, a trend and this trend will continue, so I think they had a, a vision.